Hey, what's up, everyone? I want to do a, a product review on the uh, Minova uh, for you guys. Um, I'm going to do this video in two parts. Uh, the first part is going to be for non-root users, and the second part of the video is going to be for root users. So um, what this is, is it allows you to use an external SD card and have your device recognize it. Now, not every phone comes with the ability or the option to include an external SD card like say an S3 or an S4 and the perfect case in point is going to be the Nexus 5 I have here in front of me it doesn't allow you to install an external SD card on here so that's when this little guy comes in handy so all you're going to do is you're going to take your micro SD card and you're going to insert it right in that slot my micro SD card is already inserted inside of the device after that you're going to pop the top off and you're going to use the included USB adapter just plug the Minova into the USB adapter and you can install this into your computer and you want to format this for a FAT32 after you do that you're pretty much ready to use it now in order to to um, see and be able to uh, view the content that you have on the Minova you're going to need an application called Nexus Media Importer and that is located in the Google Play Store. It is a paid app. I will give a link below for the Nexus Media Importer as well as a link for the product. And keep that keep this in mind that this is um, only set up to work on a few select devices. So when I give you the link um, in the description below, take a look at it and make sure your device is supported for this product or it won't work properly. Now I have the media importer set up that as soon as I install the Minova, it's immediately going to launch into it. Now the Minova has a blue light to let you know that it's seated properly and that it's communicating with, with your device. I'm using a um, slim armor case and it works perfectly fine with it, but if you have a little bit of a thicker case, keep that in mind that if you don't see that blue light, you're probably going to need to take your case off and then try to get it to seat properly. So once I turn on my device, it's going to be immediately launched into the Nexus Media Importer because that's kind of how I set up uh, the Media Importer. Now what you can do is you can add music, videos, uh, documents, um, movies, anything like that you can add onto the external SD card and the Media um, Importer will recognize it. Now you can actually stream that content from the external SD card on your device without having to copy it back and forth, which is a very nice feature. So you can load this up. You can, you know, I only have a 16 gig card in here, but you can get a 32 or a 64 loaded up with movies and music. Throw it on here, and you can um, pretty much have unlim unlimited media content. So, like I said, you don't need root up until this point. Now, going forward. Um, this is going to be the part of the video that's specific to root users. Now, if you're like me and you're a crack flasher, you probably have a lot of um, different ROMs on different backups, and they chew up a lot of um, a lot of memory. So, at the bottom here is my phone's internal SD card. At the top is going to be the media, um, the the, um, the Minova. Okay. So, in order to get this to work properly. You can see that this is all I have on here. And I keep a spare zip on here just in case for some reason um, something bad happens, uh, a restore doesn't work properly or anything. So the purity that you see right there is just a spare zip that I have on the Nexus Media Reader in case I need to, I just need a ROM to get my phone up and running perfectly. So down at the bottom, like I mentioned, is your phone's internal SD card. Now in order to get custom recovery to recognize it, you want to just copy the whole file. So down here at the bottom, you'll see TWRP. Hopefully that comes out clear. I'm just using a cheap handheld uh, video camera. But just long press that and it's been selected. From there, you want to hit copy and it'll copy to your SD card. And you can't just copy the backup zip itself because uh, TWRP won't recognize it. So you have to copy the whole entire folder 
and then from there you can delete and and do what you need to do or if you want to include or add um, different backups to that point you come up to the top hit TWRP hit backups um, hit that folder right there with a bunch of weird numbers and then you can see the backups that I have on the device so it needs to have all those folders in order for recovery to recognize it. Now, now I only got this to work with TWRP. I couldn't get it to work with clust, um, with uh, Clockwork. So keep that in mind. But how I do it is, um, I insert the Minova and I'm and I and then I load directly into Recovery. Okay. Now, if your phone's powered off, you can just put it in and then you know um, load right into recovery the normal way <clears throat> once you're in recovery you're going to restore it just like you would restore any other backup so you go restore and at the top you can see internal storage now those are the the um, backups that I have on my phone itself and then if you hit the top where it says internal, if you press that, it'll give you another option. And then you have the option for USB OTG. If you select that and you hit OK, you're now reading the backups that are on the Minova. And you can restore those just like you would restore any other backup. And it takes about the same amount of time, which is very nice. So keep that in mind if you want to... Um, use it the way I'm using it to store backups on you can do that just like that so hopefully that helps you guys uh, free up a little bit of space now you would also notice that I had um, that other ROM kind of floating on there on the Minova the purity if I want to access that if I go to install same thing at the at the top you're gonna see internal storage click that and now you're going to see USB OTG click that hit OK and now you can see that purity hammerhead down at the bottom that's going to be that spare that spare zip that I have floating around just in case of emergencies so that's how I um, so that's how I work with the Minova and it is a perfect tool to use um, to free up some space on your device for all your different uh, uh, ROMs and, and, and different zip files so hopefully this helps you guys out, and if you were on the fence before about um, purchasing this product, uh, hopefully this pushed you over the edge because it really is a, a very nice product. So hopefully that helps you guys out.